So one of the things you touched on, that, that RAR, right, uh, you yeah, know, whether it's required or not can change pricing quite a bit, right? Because a RAR is, you know, 50,000-ish, I guess, would be a fair number to float. Um, yep. If somebody, if somebody just generically said to you, hey, we're thinking about going Fed rent moderate because that's the most common one. We're going to deploy in, you know, in AWS or Azure. So we know that a lot of the physical security controls are being taken care of. Uh, would you care to guess, you know, what would be just a ballpark range of estimates you would tell people to set, set an expectation for? Um, I set an expectation of somewhere in between 500,000 and 1.5 million in your capital outlay across the whole process. Now that includes uh, reserves. It includes uh, both a RAR, uh, the readiness assessment and your full assessment. Now, one of the things to note is that the first assessment that you go through is the most expensive right? Um, because you have to go through and test every single control. After that, you only test one third of the controls every year. So uh, the three PAO is generally charged by that scope of work. So your first one is uh, your most expensive. So you're going to have to um, eat all of those costs along the way. And um, there is almost always at least some amount of architecture um, work required and PMing work required in order to make your offering compliant, even if you're already coming with federal experience, selling to federal customers um, on, on an individualized basis. Uh, there's still some architecture changes required. So uh, all in all, 500 to, to 1.5 million in a, in a total end-to-end -end cost.